YouTube vlog, I am Posh. Do not forget to subscribe below so you see all the YouTube videos that I post. Tonight's theme will be Girls Night with Posh. As you see, I'm in my PJs, and I hope wherever you are, you are too. Tonight, we'll be doing questions and answers that I got from my Instagram, my email, and my Snapchat. So, let's get ready. Are you ready? Someone asked me, how do you save money? I have a shopping addiction. Well, I believe in when you make money, you should at least save 70% and maybe spend 30. But make sure when you're spending your 30%, you go to affordable stores so you can kind of see your coins. Um, I hope that answered your question. Next question. Um, what would you not accept from a man? I wouldn't accept cheating or bullshit and anything that pretty much follow under that category. Next question. Big earrings or studs? I'm a studs type of girl. I feel like studs go with anything. And if you have a ball or some type of updo, hoops could be better. So it just depends on you. How do I start my business? It has to be something that you're passionate about. If you're not passionate about it, I don't feel like you would put you're all into the business, and then that kind of predicts what you get out of the business. So you have to be passionate about whatever you're selling. You have to know about what you're selling. You have to know who your consumers are. Um, you got to know who your audience is and kind of like what you want to get out of the business. And that pretty much is the start. Next question. My favorite stores are probably Top Shop. I feel like you could kind of get anything from there, whether it's date night or you want to get some good jeans that fit good. Um, as far as high end, I love Neiman Markets. I feel like I've always I always find the perfect shoe or the perfect bag there. So I hope that I hope that answers your question. Favorite designer to wear. I don't have a favorite designer to wear. I pretty much will wear anything that makes me happy. I feel like fashion is supposed to make you happy. So I don't want to pretty much say I have a favorite designer because I really don't. Who inspires the decor in your house? Do your boyfriend sit back or do he place an opinion? No one really in inspires the decor in my house. I pretty much am addicted to Pinterest. I look at that like blog thing app every time I wake up in the morning and I kind of get different ideas from that app. And that pretty much inspired things that I might buy, but I pretty much put everything together myself. And to ask, answer the second question, my boyfriend does have an opinion. Um, all of them don't go through, but I feel like in our house, we kind of split areas. He has his own rooms and his own areas and he gets to decorate that. And I have no say so. And then I just get to visit his areas and just, you know, chill out and don't pretty much have an opinion. So I hope that answers your question. Pros and cons of running a business. The pros of running a business is of course having happy customers and having revenue and making money. The cons is having disappointed customers and just having that confrontation with your customer. Maybe they're not happy with your product or they're not happy with how fast their um, item may have came or you know they're not happy with your service in general so the con is not having a happy customer and of course customers are always right so you're going out your way to make sure you fix whatever you messed up and your customer leaves happy this question and answer thing is really fun and i'm definitely going to do this once a week so let's see what else we have here how to market your business i'm so glad someone asked me this Marketing your business is very important to the outcome of what you get as far as sales. You have to sit down, you have to use your brain, you have to stay original, and you have to come up with marketing strategies, whether it's photo shoots, commercials, sales, um, just different fun things, activities you do with your customers, whether it's um, what's in your bag Wednesdays or whatever you do, you know, promo codes, giveaways, Charity, whatever you do, all that is a part of marketing and that's very important. So you have to use your brain. You have to stay original. You, you know, can't copy another company. You got to stay in your own lane and you got to make sure you're consistent with your marketing. And that kind of will get your sales up.
favorite scent perfume. Of course, we know I'm a Coco Chanel girl. So I pretty much love every scent they have, whether it's the green one, the pink one, or the like peachy one. I love them all, so that's pretty clear. Favorite bag. My favorite bag right now is my Balenciaga Mini City I got for my birthday. It's gray, so it's a neutral color, and I feel like it goes with everything. Um, I really love that bag. My boyfriend bought it for me. And um, it's so small. It also comes with a strap, so I kind of could wear it nighttime and daytime. I could shop with it. I could keep up with my money and my phones and keys. So I think currently that's my favorite bag. How do I stay motivated? Every day that I wake up and I talk to my sister or my mother or my father or my significant other, and just to know that they need me, you know, whether it's big or small, that keeps me wanting to be able to get more money and become more successful because I know they expect me to do the best I can and they expect the best out of me. So that pretty much moves me to keep going and it motivates me to get more money just in case they ever need me. And that's pretty much it, my family my loved ones and that's keep me going and keep me focused every day to go get more money and more money and more money let's see last question my favorite designer um coco chanel of course i am a coco girl i collect all her books um i'm really into her story how she started off um and that's pretty much it i love chanel i love everything about the design from the beginning to what's the current seasons. I love everything about it. Um, that's pretty much it. I think it's pure couture. Um, let's see. So one more thing I want to go over before this video ends of tonight's questions and answer is the plug. I want to explain how I'm a girl power advocate and how I want people to understand that girls linking up and getting money together is okay and that in the beauty industry is enough money for everybody. And the reason why I created the plug, people thought I was crazy. They were like, you really gonna let people know your vendor, that's gonna stop your money and that's gonna hinder you. But I've sold it to over 50 women, I've helped businesses and the goal is to link up, get money together and to make sure that their product is representing their company well as well. So I don't want people to be afraid of the plug and to think it's not real because it's very real. I have a lot of testimony showing that it's real. I post that on my Instagram daily. And people are happy with my products. We have an Indian plug that comes directly from India. We have a Brazilian plug, frontal wigs lashes if you want to create a boutique if you want to create your own fashion line of manufacturers from la we pretty much have everything so do not forget to reach out ask more questions about the plug do not forget to subscribe i am posh on youtube and do not forget to comment below whether it's positive or negative i want to know your feedback because i'm very passionate about this and i'm very passionate about knowing how do you think I did for my first video? What do you want me to talk about next? Tutorials, um, fashion tips, whatever. I love you guys. Thank you for always supporting me no matter what I put my mind to.